How's it going everyone? Brothers, I'm here and welcome to another video. So uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, how you can properly set up Y2JB on PS5 and I'm going to give you some tips and some important things that you need to know when you set up Y2JB on your PS5. The first thing is setting up the internet connection. You need to use the DNS 127.0.0.2 and to completely avoid any kind of trouble, you should set up your network connection manually instead of just entering your uh, Wi-Fi's password. So here's how to do it. We're gonna go to the network and then we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna choose set up internet connection. Scroll down all the way to set up manually and you're going to click on that and then you're going to use Wi-Fi enter manually and here you're going to enter the name of your Wi-Fi for me it's simply network so we're going to enter the name of the Wi-Fi connection okay make sure it's correct and then we're going to go to the SSID security method and we're going to choose WPI personal and of course you need to enter your password here this is your Wi-Fi's password and then scroll to DNS settings change it from automatic to manual and here primary DNS should be 127.0.0.2 done and the secondary DNS should stay blank. Now click on done. And now you should see that it has been connected. Uh, don't worry if it fails because uh, this means that the internet connection has been blocked and you can safely now go to the YouTube app and run it and it will not update the YouTube files. So simply run it and you should see that it has been uh, connected and it will show you here. As you can see, it shows the IP address and the port, so it has been set up successfully. And that's pretty much how you set up your internet connection. This is very important when you set up Y2JB. Now let's move on to the second thing. The second thing is about laps. When you uh, run the Y2JB app, make sure that you send laps first to the IP address and port that is shown on your screen. When you run Y2JB, sometimes, well, rarely it will change, but all of the time it is 50,000 the same port and once you send laps we're going to move on to the third step which is ETA HAN. Now ETA HAN must be sent to port 9021 so this is the port for ETA HAN. You can choose tools such as uh, Natcat or the tool from the Alazif but for this you have to send it to port 9021 no other port will work and make sure that you don't mix this with 50,000 ports so you have to send this to port 9021 when you send ETA HAN uh, payload. The third tip is about ETA HAN. So for PS5, which is on firmware 8.60 and higher, you must use ETA HAN version 2.4B. So you cannot use 2.3. It's not gonna work on PS5 8.60 and higher. But for PS5, which is 8.40 and lower, you can use ETA HAN 2.3. So make sure that you get ETA HAN version 2.4b from the Package Zone Discord server so you can run it on PS5 uh, 8.60 and higher, uh, 9.xx and such. The fourth tip is that you must use this on a fake activated PSN and not a legit one. If you have a PS5 that has been logged into legit PSN, you cannot use this with Y2JB and you need to create a, a new account locally and then uh, offline activate it with uh, the uh, several methods that are available, whether you can do it manually or you can do it through ETA hand toolbox. So make sure that you use a fake activated account to run Y2JB. That is the fourth tip and it is very, very important. The fifth tip is kind of obvious, but I just want to mention it in case some people don't know about this and they are new to this. The USB drive must be formatted as FAT32 or XFAT so the PS5 can recognize it. And then you send the backup to it 
and then use it on PS5 to restore that backup. If your USB drive is not formatted as such, the PS5 will not recognize it when you plug it in, so take that in consideration. The sixth tip is about the uh, lapse exploit when it fails. Uh, so you send lapse exploit and then it fails. Uh, that means you have to restart the PS5 and try again. There is no point in uh, retrying and sending laps over and over again. You just need to restart the PS5 and try sending laps again. So if it says restart the PS5 and try again, just do that. Restart the PS5 and try again. There is no need to keep on trying. So this is the sixth tip. The seventh tip is about the YouTube app, uh, in case some people don't know about this. Uh, if you use YouTube package to install it on your PS5, make sure that you get version 1.03, which is so far the only supported YouTube version by Y2JB. This is the only affected YouTube app version, so make sure that you get version 1.03, install it on your PS5, and then proceed with the uh, jailbreaking. Now let's move on to something else, uh, which is also related to Y2JB. Uh, it's PLK has released PS5 Y2JB Auto Loader, which will uh, auto load Y2JB and the payloads for you, and you don't have to send them through the network. So uh, this will auto load the lapse uh, exploit and whatever uh, payloads that you choose when you set it up. Uh, eventually, there's gonna be some backups uh, being made with this one. But if you wish to set this up by yourself, the instructions are right here. On a jailbroken PS5, you can simply uh, use FTP to send those files to this location, to the PS5's internal storage here on the uh, download zero folder, and you can just put the uh, files here in this location which you can see right here uh, as you can see here it has the auto load payload and it also has the ps5 auto loader folder so all of these has to be uh, transferred into the ps5's internal storage in this uh, location precisely so uh, this is it for a deal broken ps5 it's also worth mentioning that uh, there are still some uh, issues with Y2JB, like the, the issue of YouTube asking for an update, and uh, the developers are still working on a fix for that. And uh, you just need to be a, a little bit patient until Y2JB becomes uh, fully uh, reliable. So uh, this is it for Y2JB uh, Auto Loader. Now let's move on to something else. In another PS5 related news, uh, today uh, Idle Sauce has released PS5 Self Pager, which is uh, another PS5 self decryptor for PS5 firmware 1.00 up to 10.01. This will decrypt PS5 games uh, eboot files and will dump uh, ga PS5 games to a USB drive. This brings uh, a lot of speed improvements, uh, which uh, Echo Stretch is planning to add uh, to his own uh, PS5 app dumpers next release. This uh, app dumper uh, already includes auto backport option and uh, Echo Stretch is planning to uh, add the improvements from Idle Sauce's self pager to his own PS5 app dumper. So uh, this is uh, the news about this uh, new release from Idle Sauce. Now let's move on to something else which is related to PS4 jailbreaking. So uh, yesterday we got our first look at the Flow's newest kernel exploit net control being chained with BDJB for PS4 up to 12.50 firmware. So it seems like this is gonna be the next uh, PS4 jailbreak up to 12.50 which uses BDJB. And uh, this is not gonna be for 12.52 or 13.00. For that, we're gonna have to wait for the private BDJ uh, exploit to be released or somehow the uh, net control exploit being chained with Lua. But for now, uh, this is what we have. This is the news that we have. This is an early look at BDJB being chained with uh, the net control exploit. And it seems like this is gonna be the next PS4 uh, jailbreak. Uh, there is still no uh, estimated time of release, but it seems like this is gonna be 
potentially uh, this year so uh, this is the news that we have about uh, ps4 if you have a ps4 that is on a higher firmware which is like 12.52 or higher you need to disable the internet disable the updates and wait for a new jailbreak so uh, this is uh, the end of this video uh, this is everything that i wanted to share in this video and uh, i will keep you updated uh, if anything else uh, comes up that's it uh, take care and i will see you soon